Yo, it's me, TV. You already know I'm back with another one. Before we go any further, hit that like, hit that subscribe, man. And hit the notification bell so you can get the hottest, latest when I drop. You heard me? Now, today, we bringing into the building uh, some billionaires, right? It's actually a billionaire, his son, his friend, and two more other people, five people in total. This Titanic uh, excursion has left five people trapped in a submarine. And so far, they've been down there for two days. And they only have up until Thursday night enough air to last. But I'm going to let you guys check out some of these uh, news clips to see what y'all think. And man, how could a whole submarine disappear with all the technology that we have at the forefront until our ex 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 expendability, whatever you want to call it, you feel me? How can this happen? of the submersible vessel that it was uh, overdue and it had five uh, persons on board uh, the submersible. So we're working very closely at this point uh, to make sure that we're doing everything that we can do uh, to locate uh, the submersible and rescue uh, those on board. Uh, the location of the search is approximately 900 miles uh, east of Cape Cod uh, in a water depth of uh, roughly 13,000 feet. It is a, a remote area. Uh, and it is uh, a challenge to conduct a uh, search in that remote area. Uh, adding to the complexity of this case is uh, the fact that uh, this was a uh, submersible vessel. And so we need to make sure that we're looking both on the surface uh, for uh, the vessel if it had uh, uh, surfaced uh, back uh, to uh, the water. So at this point, we're approximately uh, about 40, 41 hours. So first of all, that's, that's an estimate, right? Because we know uh, from the, uh, the the data we were using uh, as a starting point was 96 hours. We know at this point we're approximately uh, about 40, 41 hours. Again, with a race against the clock to find that submersible vessel that disappeared in the North Atlantic Ocean on Sunday. It was headed to the sunken wreckage of the Titanic. Experts say if the five people on board are still alive, they will run out of oxygen by Thursday morning. The explorers were heading to the site of the Titanic's final resting place. It's located about 900 miles off Cape Cod and more than 12,000 feet below the surface. An international rescue effort is now underway, including help from the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Coast Guard, and the Canadian Coast Guard. Officials say they've already searched an area about 7,600 square miles with no sign of the vessel. CBS's Roxana Saberi will start us off tonight from Boston. Good evening, Roxana. Good evening, Jerika. Tonight, the U.S. Navy is bringing in special equipment to retrieve heavy objects from deep under the ocean in the event they're able to locate the missing submersible. But hope for finding survivors is fading. Search crews are frantically scouring an area larger than the state of Connecticut. But so far, there's no sign of the missing vessel, the Titan, and its five passengers. What are the biggest challenges you're facing? You're dealing with a surface search and a subsurface search, and frankly, that makes it an incredibly complex operation. But time is dwindling fast because they're running out of oxygen. We know at this point we're approximately about 40, 41 hours. There's no other trip like this. For the past two years, the U.S.-based company Ocean Gate Expeditions has used the submersible to take tourists to the famous Titanic shipwreck, charging $250,000 per person. At nearly two and a half miles below the ocean surface, the Titanic is located at roughly twice the depth of the Grand Canyon. Finding the Titan won't be easy at those depths, even if it's floating on the surface. Rescuers are now gaming out different scenarios in the event they find it. Among the five missing passengers, Hamish Harding, a British billionaire who flew into space on Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin rocket last year. Pakistani British businessman Shahzada Dawood and his 19 year old son Suleiman. And Paul Henri Nardelet, a former diver with the French Navy and a seasoned Titanic researcher. 
OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush is also on the vessel. We run the whole thing with this game controller. Last year, OceanGate hosted CBS Sunday Morning correspondent David Pogue on an expedition to the Titanic. But just minutes into his dive, something went wrong. So apparently those floats there came off the platform. So we're scrubbing? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the consensus up here. The weight of the situation is bearing down on friends and family. Janneke Mickelson spoke with her friend Hamish Harding the day before he left. It's not good. It really isn't good. It, it will be a miracle if the crew returns alive. And we're learning new information tonight about Ocean Gate Expeditions. A group of leaders in the submersible industry sent the company a letter back in 2018 warning of possible catastrophic problems with the submersible and with its planned mission to the Titanic wreckage. Jerika? Yeah, we know a lot of people hoping for a miracle. Roxana Saberi, thank you.